Oh my god. Oh. Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Cass Contents. Welcome to my tutorial today. Um, there are different kinds of invest investing and I'm not talking about different types of financial investing. Some people don't have the means to invest money and that shouldn't be a detriment to their health. Everyone should feel like they are investing in their future and for the longest time investing for me and I saw this on that that blue zone documentary someone else said exactly the same thing and these are people who are living in or until age 100 into their hundreds centenarians 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 anyway for me the long for the longest time i've insisted on this investing has been about investing in my health when i lost my closest family member to cancer when i was younger since that time at 14 i my way of investing has been investing in my health i have never gotten to the point where i mean not that i could have couldn't have invested financially if I was more organized, if I was better thinking about those things at that point. But since I lost that person, I have thought about investing in my health and spending money on things. People don't like to spend money on food. People don't like to spend money on supplements. People will put that last. And really, if we look at food as an investment, if we look at I mean, organic can be really difficult right now with the cost of food, like in Toronto going through the roof, it can be really difficult. I mean, I dropped that myself. I used to only get organic, but if we can look at eating more vegetables, educating ourselves on how to eat healthy. And when I say eat healthy, I don't mean, you know, add a bit of vegetables to your food. I mean, whatever you can do, you can do being mindful and eating better is is good period i mean that's what this video is about thinking about eating better long term but i mean i'm not going to go into the diets and all this stuff but for me when i go back to the work week after having like festive foods on the weekend i have heaping amounts like like sometimes almost a full bag of cooked coleslaw to with my meat to go back to work with for my lunch like like a whole amount of broccoli like the, the stock like the the flour broccoli I don't know what you call it, like a whole thing that you buy at the store or or half the whole half of the broccoli not just a few pieces with my meat like cooked in in oil like on a pan for my week and the amount of fiber in that I've been learning about something called I think it's Prevotella bacteria or something like that that is a bacteria that can change in your body and they find it in a lot of vegetarians so if you up your amounts of vegetables that you eat you can increase this bacteria in your body which is very beneficial beneficial to you so if you don't have the money to invest or people talk to you about oh don't invest that money into supplements or food invest it into investments into money I mean you can do that you can you know invest some of it into money some of it into food all that but if you <coughs> really invest into being healthy if that is your commitment every day at this point in time things can change and you can build your money you know then you will be here and you will have your days without pain i have dealt with pain for over 25 years that has been a huge thing in my life 
so it really investing in my health like upping my vegetable consumption like crazy and I'm, I'm simplifying there's other things that go along with it but really like eating more vegetables or eating lots of vegetables is I think one of the key components of upping your health game I also invest in vi buying a bottle of vitamin C powder probably twice a year I take vitamin C every day and that has been shown to be good for everything from preventing spider veins in the legs to um, I think helping people with cognition like there's all sorts of things that vitamin C helps that people don't really think about it's not just for colds I was really surprised and now I just started taking fish oil I take Sarah peptase which has been shown to um, shrink cysts and break down biofilms which are what prevents cysts and such from being broke down you can look into it I don't want to get into it I don't want to get too medical here but um and then vitamin C vitamin D always 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 a thousand or two thousand I use a day and that enables me to do my job which is a labor intensive job which requires oh collagen which requires me to feel good every day and go for nine hours a day five days a week you know with good knees and good back and, and good ankles and feet and it's it's no easy feat a lot of people who work in in factories manufacturing jobs you know people don't talk about that a lot or at least I don't hear it about what is required to just continue on in that job you know people work these jobs and they're trying to support their families and they're in chronic pain again I'm not trying to get too medical I don't want to get this is only advice it's not coming from a medical professional at all and I'll put that in a disclaimer but if you invest in your health while you figure out how you can invest your money then you will be here to keep going to pay your bills to have your job you know while you figure out the money part or putting in those little bits of of money every month like for me it's because I have chronic I have endometriosis and migraines probably due to my endometriosis and I've been dealing with that for years and and now that I put into supplements and really put into my diet I'm able to feel better for most of the month but for years that was not the case for years I lost some years I lost most of my month being in bed from pain so I personally spend about two hundred dollars a month on supplements and then I get good food but again I don't get organic anymore only meat free range meat so that it's harm free from hormones again this is for entertainment don't at me about not being able to talk about that. I'm not trying, but that's just what I do. Entertainment. But, um, yeah. So then, realistically, if you're going to 40, 50, 60, and working, because that may be what happens in our society, we may lose social security, we may lose these things that we believe we are entitled to, we may lose them they may not be there or you know you can look at the other side of things or if you don't invest into your health and you just keep going on in pain not looking at your diet trying instead to put a hundred dollars aside every every month for investments that financial investments that might not grow that much instead you can put into food and and being healthy so that if you need to you can you can keep working sorry i kind of flopped over that you know if you don't hopefully won't have to worry about being off being sick you know for something big something big like cancer like ms like parkinson's like you know things that that diabetes things that stop people from being able to do their jobs and then people say oh well you can just work from home what if you can't just work from home what if someone has worked in a factory all their life and they can't just work? maybe they can work from home maybe that's their time when they're sick but if they can't you know it pays to look at investing in your everyday your future 
you know, by being healthy and feeling entitled to do that. Like one of the things I do is I buy really good Japanese green tea. It's like my, my vice, my, my treat that I buy, like it's, it's expensive, but I'm not going to stop doing it because you know, I love it. Like the tea that I get, the David's tea is really good. Like it really tastes good. I could get cheaper, but I'm also, you know, going to say that I'm not going to stop getting it because green tea is so beneficial. There are studies that show that it prevents ovarian and breast cancers. In some cases, ovarian by up to 60%. Again, look that up. Look it up. Entertainment, not coming out of my mouth. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to give that up. I'm not going to give that up over X amount of money that I spend every month maybe for the sake of my health in 20 years fuck that like it's great if i have that option to use then i'm going to use it it's important feel entitled to invest that in your case maybe it's 50 dollars a month maybe it's 100 dollars a month into better food supplements tea whatever to feel better rather than saying oh i can't afford it i can't afford it and then getting sick and then not being able to work not being able to think about even retirement because you've taken you know years off being sick and you have to keep working like whatever just something to think about is something that I think about I mean me personally I think about it every single day I think it's so important the blue zone documentary was talking about I think it was Costa Rica that um was it Costa Rica one of the countries they spend a lot of their money investing into health by way of prevention health by way of eating healthy food and how much that has meant to people's health how much that has meant to their economy if you want to check out the the documentary itself i mean watch it it was it was very interesting and i found it very emotional because it was beautiful how people in these countries and these in these regions were able to go on and and live their lives I mean even if you can do it into your 80s forget about to 100 you know that's a wonderful thing and that's something that we should feel entitled to try to do for ourselves rather than feeling like oh we we shouldn't be we shouldn't be spending on food we shouldn't be spending on our health it's not the right thing to do it's taking money away from our families it's not it's giving to your families by you being healthy anyway thank you so much for watching everyone this is cast contents i'd love it if you give this video a like and a subscribe and let me know what you think about this in the comments really engage on this one because i love i mean i love talking about this i could talk about this topic till i'm i'm blue in the face um and thank you so much Ooh, mosquito <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye.